Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic message to start your day. And today I would like to pray specifically for marriages. According to the Bible, it says in Mark 10, verse 8 to 9, and the two shall become one flesh, so then they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Somebody say hallelujah. See, God created marriage and it is his design for it to be good and in marriage just as in any human relationship we have to work to love well we can't do this successful in our own power precious saints it's not by our might it's not by our power but it is by the power of the holy spirit and that is why we need god who is love himself to give us his Holy Spirit to guide us in our marriage because marriage is a picture of Jesus Christ and his bride, the church. Somebody say hallelujah. So a Christian husband and his wife, we have the high honor to represent the love and the commitment that Christ has for the church through our love, through our example, through our commitment to each other. Now, we know that the devil doesn't like that also and will try to attack it in every way he can. But prayer can turn things around. So maybe you are not passing through trouble or you are or you're even looking to be married. We need to thank God for marriage. We need to thank God for his design for relationships and family also. So you need to start by asking him and ask God to help you to be that spouse. Either you're in a marriage to be the spouse that God's called you to be or be this perfect spouse, the God-fearing spouse that God wants you to be in the future. Because we need to ask for him for his help so that we can love well, not only in this relationship, but all relationships. And to see also our spouse or our potential spouse to see as God sees them also. So when we pray for our marriages, ask God to use your marriage or your potential future marriage to impact the world for him. Ask him for protection, not only physically, but spiritually and also emotionally. Pray for unity in your marriage and the wisdom from Him about how to live your lives as one. Bring to Him anything in your marriage that may concern you and trust Him to work on your behalf, precious saints. Someone needs to hear this today because God has placed it on my heart to speak these words today. Let us pray now, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we come before you today and we ask for your mercy and forgiveness for all of our sins, known and unknown. Father, as we come before you for your mercy, this at your mercy seat this day, and we ask specifically for mercy on our marriage and also on those that are yet to be married, we come before you humbly and we specifically pray against any hindering forces that may be blocking my marriage from prospering or from coming to pass. And Lord, and if anything is needed, to be removed and let it be removed. Lord, I pray also for those that need restoration of their marriages. Lord, that you would make that take place also in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we come before you today because, Lord, you said in your word that what God puts together, no man shall tear apart. So today, according to your word, we want to see things through the way your word has spoken that your word will come to pass within our lives today we know that we want to also see breakthrough within our marriage within each person's marriage or their future marriage lord i pray lord through our lord jesus christ because we know that the lord speaks to our hearts so let him speak to our hearts today 
instruct us even how to rebuild our marriages for those that need them to be rebuilt, those that need to be continue to be fostered, and also for those that are yet to be married. Prepare them to be that perfect spouse. Lord, we pray also, remove any arrogance, anger, self-righteous behavior, any lack of forgiveness, any lack of knowledge, Lord, for your word within our lives, any lack of unconditional love, that you want to put in our heart that we may have for our future spouse, our current spouse, and those that are married and so forth. Lord, I pray for all those, those that are not yet married, those that are married and those that you want to restore. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ for each and every one of us. We know that you can move. We know that you can turn things around in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, today, We come before your mercy seat. Remove every hindering force right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray as we choose to believe in you, Lord Jesus, in your love, that regardless of whatever our situation is at present, we're going to trust you. And we know that your love is sufficient, that we may love others as you have loved us. And we pray today for that spiritual breakthrough in every area of our lives. Lord, we thank you also. Lord, for loving us and for creating marriage to be an illustration of your love for us here on earth. Help us, O oh God, even to love our spouses, those that we are married to, those that are married, those that are being restored. And also, Lord, help those that are yet to be married. Lord, bless each person person today. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, we give you honor. And Lord, we just pray today that you would help us protect us physically, mentally, and emotionally, and spiritually today. Lord, we ask for you to build greater unity, especially those that are married and those that need restoration, and also bring unity to those that want to be married in the future. Make us stronger, Lord, more devout to one another and to you, but most importantly to you. Lord, do the change within us, O Lord. Lord, we pray today in the name of Jesus Christ that we may be that future example to others. We may be that future example to others to how to love, to how to have relationships. We ask for greater influence and more impact on the people even around us. And we ask you to work through our lives, through the lives of our friends, our families, and everyone, no matter where they are today. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and move through us and bring those far from you closer so that they can also have an encounter with you, their living God, who seeks and saves the lost and who sets us free and gives us peace. Purpose. We choose today to love you first. God, we put even our relationship, Lord, second to you because our relationship with you must come first and everything from there flows. We confess our need for you and we thank you for bringing us together as you are bringing people together, as you've already brought people together and you're going to bring people together. We choose to love one another today and every day. Thank you for the gift of marriage and for those that are yet to be married. I pray that you would touch us and touch us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet today. Lord, we pray today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you that we are overcomers and each person today shall overcome no matter how difficult that circumstance is today. We bless you. We thank you. We give you all the praise. We thank you for the miracles that you are making today as we're seeking your face, as we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, then everything else shall be added unto us. And Lord, we know that you are working things out for our favor, that you are turning things around to use for our good and for your glory. Lord, we speak your blessings today over each person, over each person's life. And we pray, Lord, for a special blessing to go with them, to be with them today. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen and amen. This is Pastor. Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire 
of Repentance Revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you forward it to a friend, someone to encourage. And also, don't forget, Precious Saints, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Rumble, Facebook, or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious Saints, we have the four-day fast coming at the end of the month. The program will be released soon, but I want you to pencil it in the 28th all the way to the 31st from Friday all the way to finishing in the evening on Monday evening. So let us be prepared as we're exposing witchcraft and also enabling us to overcome and to warfare through this time in Jesus' name. So from my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you, precious saints. Shalom, shalom, shalom.